Superman, Batman, Captain America, Iron Man, it's no mystery that the world is captivated by superheroes. Whether it was reading a comic book as a kid or immersing yourself in the technologically advanced world of 3D, high def, Dolby surround, 4K, whatever, the superhero world has piqued our curiosity. Kids dress up like them, adults want their superpowers. Our imagination could easily get away from us wishing that we could be them. Even though we may not be a superhero, we all can sometimes fall into the trap of having a secret identity. Sometimes we spend so much of our time in our other identity that we begin to question which version of ourselves is the real one. We talk and act one way when we're at work or with our friends and then another way when we are at church or with our families. We do such a good job playing the different roles that it just becomes a natural part of our everyday life. But let me tell you something, we can fool a lot of people, we can even fool ourselves, but we can never fool God. Psalms 139 says, You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. And then it goes on to say in verse 13, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. No matter where we go or what we do, God sees everything and knows everything. He knows the real you. Maybe you've gotten so caught up in trying to be who you think everyone else wants you to be that you're having trouble finding your real identity or trying to find your real value in this life. I wanna tell you something. When you have a relationship with the Lord, your real identity and your real value comes from one thing alone. You are a child of the King. It's not something you can earn. If you've given your life to Jesus and you're following Him, He has washed every wrong thing you've ever done away and He looks at you and sees you as His precious son or daughter. 1 John 3, 1 says, See how very much our Father loves us, for He calls us His children, and that is what we are. You don't need to earn His love. You don't need to earn your value. You are a child of the King. That is your real identity. Everything else is just superficial and temporary and can be taken away in an instant. But your real identity and value are eternal. You have the ability to show the world how to have the same everlasting life. Now that's a superpower.